Hello everyone, this is Chris with 1xlusers.com. Uh, what we're going to do today is root the AT&T 1x LTE. Uh, pretty much we have a uh, one-click uh, method thanks to Kenneth Penn on xdadevelopers.com. Um, the exploit actually came from Sparky M3 and he thanked him uh, in that thread and uh, Crisis 1A7 was the first to test it out. Pretty much there are a couple things that you have to download and we've put them in this one click root folder right here. Um, actually there's something else that's not included in this and it's the uh, HTC mobile phone drivers. Uh, go ahead and download that and run the executable and it's a, pretty much a self install. Uh, then you'll download this one click uh, root onxr.zip. Go ahead and extract that. Get a micro USB cable and connect it to the phone. Since we've worked on Android devices before, we already have the HTC drivers installed. We put it in charge only. Now we're going to go to the settings, apps, actually, settings. Forgot we're an ice cream sandwich, so let's go to developer options and enable USB debugging. I'll give you a little uh, information screen there. Let's look at our device manager. You can see right here that it's installing drivers. And then you'll see Android USB device, and you'll see my HTC. Pretty much uh, what ADB does, it has a bunch of built-in commands and it allow, it stands for Android Debug Bridge and it allows the computer to uh, control and uh, interface with the Android uh, device. Uh, you can install applications, uh, change file permissions, uh, add and delete files, and more. So after you've done that, if you're running Windows, you'll go ahead and click the root.bat and go ahead and run it. If you're on Linux or Mac, he also has uh, other scripts that will do that for you. Portions of this video will be fast forwarded. The drivers you would have installed if you didn't have them in the beginning were right here HTC driver 3.0.0.007. Zero zero you can see if you run that, it goes through a installer. we're going to cancel out because we already have it. We're going to Super SU. This controls the uh, permissions. Now it's updating the binaries. Super user is enabled. Let's try something real quick. Let's go ahead and go to the Play Store. We're going to download and install Root Explorer. We'll open it up and see if we can grant it super user permissions. We'll hit grant and there we are. We can see the root of our device. And there you have it. We've successfully rooted our AT&T 
HTC One X LCE. So for more information about the device, please visit our website at onexlusers.com.